Hey everyone, it's me Hunter. I'm coming at you with another video today. A little different than normal. Not a Star Wars build, but a Lego build nonetheless. You are going to start seeing a couple of these kind of, not Star Wars build, but uh, steam locomotive builds more often. I have this one and actually two more, but I'm going to stop talking about kind of the general video and we're going to get right into what this one's about. Uh, for uh, those of you who may not know, uh, when I was really young, uh, I used to really enjoy the Thomas the Tank Engine uh, uh, TV series. Um, didn't read the books as much, <clears throat> excuse me, but I was really into the uh, you know the model TV series. So when the Hogwarts Express came out in 2018, uh, I thought it looked a lot. It was one of the best steam locomotives uh, Lego's done over the past few years, and it was a perfect model for the. Uh, uh, Islands of Sodor's number five engine James and I thought I'd go ahead and build what or modify it So all this really is is the 2018 Lego Hogwarts Express Modified a little bit, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of walk you through the basic changes I made just a really short video just because it is a custom I guess not a custom build but kind of like a redesign of a set. It still came out great uh, The tender is completely custom though but we're going to go ahead, well, I'll kind of walk you around. Here we have the front um, with the face. Uh, it took me a little bit of messing around with. I found some images online. I wish I could remember his name. There's actually a guy on uh, Instagram I follow. He did an old uh, steam workhorse uh, traction engine, and he actually uh, put a face on it. I used kind of the basic idea that he did, but obviously I made the face work more for James. Uh, for those of you who know the character, he's got kind of more of a rounder nose. And that's what I really wanted to focus on. I used some black curved tiles down here for the mouth. I redesigned the buffer beam. And as you can actually kind of see, I didn't fully complete it. Um, I thought I did, but I actually, I've gone through, I've remodified uh, the buffer beam, the front part, on multiple occasions. So I just got to put two more tiles here to make it all red. But I lowered the buffers a little bit because they were a little high. Um, I replaced it when I show it next to the Hogwarts Express, which I will do. You'll kind of see how I... Uh, changed it up a bit and then another thing in the front is I added a lamp on the side because uh, Though the uh, build usually has the lamp on the top James has the lamp on his right side Also when we're looking at the front. I'll kind of pull it a little closer. I redesigned the funnel essentially just a two by two kind of cone piece and Then just a two by two circular brick nothing crazy now when I turn James to the side, it's pretty much the exact same build. Um, I just shortened the boiler by two studs. Uh, in the uh, set, when you see it side by side, this area that's a little bit more squared is actually four studs long. Uh, when you look at the build, um, or the actual character, it's a not an exact replication of a real-life steam locomotive. It actually is... Uh, a little bit of custom, so it's this area shorter. I used the dome I got from the old Hogwarts Express. Uh, not, it would be the last one they did. It's not the latest one, 2018, the last one they did. I used that. Um, I used different uh, bars for the side rail. Built the custom whistle up top. I'll pull it a little closer. Uh, James has a whistle that goes kind of off the uh, cab, and he also has a little bit that goes under kind of in front of the cab. I also went ahead and tiled up the entire top portion of the boiler. I'll try to turn them a little bit without tipping the engine, but yeah, I tiled the whole top just because it looked good. Uh, my only kind of complaint, but I'm okay with it just because it adds some uh, texture to it so it's not just all red, is that I have this gray bit going through here. When you look at the actual model, uh, the gray part actually comes out just a little bit further, so if you were to look at the engine from the top view, you could see a little bit of gray running along the side. So that's why I was okay with this. Um, I was able to, so this was black in the original set, just turned to gray. Kept these original uh, details here, those work perfectly fine. Uh, something else I did differently was, I'm going to go ahead and turn it a little bit, is the coupling rods. Uh, I like the one on the uh, set, but the wheels aren't all connected, and James actually, his is not connected to a piston kind of up front. Um, if I get any words wrong for steam locomotives, I apologize. I'm trying to get back into it and, you know, learn it again, but I'm not fully up to date on my full terms. But uh, the piston, he doesn't have one here, so it's just the coupling rods. They don't have to attach to anything. And you'll notice I took off the second set of wheels in front because James does only have one front wheel 
Uh, the other side of James looks exactly the same. We can move up to his tender, completely custom built. It is a th or three axle, so six wheel tender. I did put buffers on the back. Uh, the sticker is not official Lego, so hopefully it'll continue to stay on. It's doing pretty well, but uh, the tender is designed to, if you look up the character, this is the best tender I could design that looks exactly like it. I did go ahead, I put some coal in there. Uh, I just kind of used black plates, and then I just covered the plates and studs uh, just to give it that coal look. And that is, I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and snap off the tender real fast. I'm gonna let you, you go ahead and get a look inside. Uh, it's hard to get with light, but I didn't change the inside. So if you do own the Hogwarts Express uh, 2018 set, it's the exact same inside build. Uh, I didn't modify it at all. I did modify the cab area, so when I do a side-by-side -side here in just a moment, you'll see that I redesigned the cab to look more like the uh, one in, uh, based off the character. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm turning this all the way ooh, around, sorry, I hit the camera a little bit. Sorry, three tra or two tracks is just not enough to kind of mess around with the build, and three tracks is just way too long, but three tracks is what I have to go with. So this is uh, James, and I'm gonna go ahead and really quick slide in the Hogwarts Express. There we go. Um, you'll see, like I said, it's pretty much the exact same build. You know, you pull the engine alongside one another. Uh, you know, you did go through that, so if you can kind of remember what it looked like, I'll actually turn them a little more sideways. Uh, my camera's not quite tall, but you can see that, you know, the boiler, like I said here, is shorter than that. That's the, really the biggest difference, and then I redesigned the dome, and I stripped out anything away that said Hogwarts. But... Uh, like I was saying here, how this is how I designed the uh, back of the cab here. I kind of did the uh, little divot or cutout like it has in the show. The Hogwarts Express, you can kind of see if you look over James's tender. It's just one solid wall with a little bit of that taken out and a window. I wanted to remove all that, build my own thing. And as you can obviously tell, the two tenders are completely different. But... Without further ado, that's pretty much James. Uh, there's nothing else to really talk about with him. I'll go ahead and reposition him. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen pictures of this character in a post or two all come together. But that's all there is to this build. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very different type of build. Sorry if it's kind of a long video. I tried to keep it a little shorter. But um, otherwise, I have nothing else left to say on this kind of modified Hogwarts Express to the uh, Northwestern Railway or Island of Sodor's number five engine, James. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.